blinking red light can sometimes mean a traffic light is out. Not in the case in Brighton Park. Residents say every weekend the light at a busy intersection is purposely changed to flashing red. Tonight they tell our Tara Molina it's become dangerous. They're running normally today, but Friday through Sunday, the traffic lights behind me flash red. And it's a switch the people who live around here say is an accident waiting to happen. The Archer and Kedzie is just always busy. The pedestrians can't cross the street. Kim Cerritos has seen the close calls. Uh, I have a neighbor who's blind and he was trying to cross the street and he couldn't. She lives right down the street. And for weeks, she says she thought these lights at Archer and Kedzie were broken. Friday afternoon, about two o'clock, it goes from a working traffic light to just red. It just blinks red. So she asked the city for a fix. I put in a, a 311 request. So did 259 other people with 260 complaints filed about this intersection since July 3rd. All 311 calls for service. You can see most of them canceled by the city because this light isn't broken. Chicago police asked for the weekend switch. Finally, last weekend, we got confirmation that this is part of some sort of crime reduction strategy by the police department. 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez says a semi hit two cars here over the weekend, and it's bound to happen again. You've turned an already dangerous intersection for pedestrians into an even more dangerous intersection. So, with the plan to keep making the switch through the summer, he's calling on specialized traffic enforcement here when these lights switch Friday through Sunday, but says he hasn't heard back from Chicago's Office of Emergency Management. They need to make sure that we have personnel out here to direct traffic to ensure the safety, not only of people driving, but of our seniors, of our children. A CPD spokesperson told me safety is their top priority and they use several strategies to prevent violence. We'll check back in to see if any additional traffic enforcement is available when these lights switch this coming Friday. Reporting in Brighton Park tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.